Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and texture these little fog lights here, or these high intensity fog lights, or whatever you want to go ahead and call them. And the easiest way for us to go ahead and do that is basically just use the same process that we've been over, um, using over and over again. Just use a, a projection in our um, Z axis and then simply just apply a shader to it with a JPEG plugged into the shader. Since we aren't going to really need the UV maps outside of Maya to go ahead and texture it. And so we'll just go ahead and select one. Go up to create UVs, planar mapping, and we want to do it in the Z axis. Okay, and then we'll select another one. Just hit G to repeat the tool. Same thing for the third one there. Apply it. And the fourth one here, apply it. And if we go ahead and select all of these, we're going to go in here into the UV editor. And you can see that they're all on you know, the same UV space. So we'll scale it down just a little bit here. And I'm going to go ahead and check my UVs. I'll just simply apply the um, checker shader here that we have. Go ahead and just select these. Apply the checker shader and they all look fine. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create another new V-Ray material and name this Fog Light Lens. Go into the attribute editor of it. Come up to the diffuse killer. Apply a file node. Just organize this real quick. And we're going to use this white lens JPEG. select these apply, apply the shader and there you go you can see where we have the light here actually textured for the face but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, adjust the reflectivity a little bit turn it to I don't want to say it completely white we'll go with with gray and we'll turn it down a little bit. Uh, we'll probably go up a little bit more there. And that should be fine whenever we go to render it. And there we have our fog lights textured.